Welcome back everyone, we are playing Duke Nukem once again, this is episode 3. From the starting location, once you drop it off the building, go up this ramp and go inside the door. To the next of that uh, hologram, you can jump through the window to find your secret number 1. Number 2. Jump through the window again and interact with this poster that says tonight. You have to get in a specific place to make it work, but eventually you can make it come down. Now for secret number three, if you go to the right door and go inside, be careful, you'll get ambushed from behind. Now once you have dealt with these enemies, you'll find a crack in the wall, so use your rocket launcher or grenade, whichever you have first. If you can't find the grenades, go outside and go to this little crevice uh, when you go up the um, ramp to find the grenades. Number four, right next to you on the left, it will be an armor inside a painting. Number five. Once you have found the blue key card, go into the conveyor belt section and to the right you'll find a handprint and you'll find some cabinets that you can open. Once you go inside this cabinet, it's very dark, there'll be a invisible switch to your left, so just press the wall to open this secret area. Number six, once you press the hand, this will be number six. I think I said six twice. Number seven. From the last location once again go through the next double doors in this kitchen area there will be like a wine rack that will be your secret number seven now on to mission two once you drop down from that starting location now this go around until you see the door that you require a blue key card located directly here now ignore that go left and go to the cash machine point once you interact with one of the walls you can go in to find a secret number two now, once you finally gain access to this room, you can now freely grab the blue key card. Once you grab that key card, the next secret will be revealed to you just to your left. Now, once again, keeping it simple. Now, once you drop down and now we want to go to the blue key card room or the door, I should say, not the room. Once we go in, as soon as you go in, be careful we get ambushed. There will be a switch in this very dark corner. Once you shoot it, the phone booth shall disappear, containing your next secret. As you see, I'm going to show you now. It's very hard to see in the dark at the far distance, but once you get close enough, it's clearly there. Now, number four, in the same place. Before going to the next room, press on the patent to find your jetpack and two bits of health. Here we go, number five. Once you go through the next room and grab your boots, if you jump on the beta switch, this will reverse round and then you can freely go to your gamma. And on the side of the wall here that we can blow up, this will be secret number five. Now, before we even start, just turn around and get your scuba gear from behind you. Now, go forward and jump into the water. Once you have done this, you will find there's a very small amount of weeds or vines at the bottom. Now, if you just shoot in that area, you can find the secret number one. Once you go inside, you will get a cat, a cat attacked by some aliens on the upper platform. Once you have dealt with them, as soon as you touch that platform, you should gain the secret one. And also, if you do need some more scuba gear, um, oxygen, uh, there is some in the water below as well. Now, just to keep it short and sweet, um, if you know where the blue key card is, part of the story, we have to go there right now. Don't know why I showed this much, but um, yeah. So as soon as you pick up the blue key card, now just jump up to the left, and go through the invisible wall. Number three. Now from the blue key card location, jump into the crack and just follow up. Also, this will be where the red key card would need to be placed in. But if you go right next to where the key card needs to be placed in, then you can find a little ledge that you can jump down. 
and then open the window to find secret number three. Now once you have found the yellow keycard, place it in the keycard itself. Now head up to the top level. Once you're on the roof, before going left, jump up this little um, slope and interact with the wall containing your jetpack. And now from the um, number four location, we're now going to fly back over to the red keycard area. Now, once we go through, of course, you get attacked. But as soon as you get attacked, if you go left straight away, there will be a hard hat uh, sign we can press on. And this will reveal your last and final secret of this level. LA Rumble. Once we start, we'll fight some enemies, of course. But if you throw a pipe bomb to the right side, uh, you can blow up the wall. Inside here, you'll find one of three secrets, and this will be a freeze gun. Secret two. Now we're going to head and find the blue key card. So drop down and just carry the on to your right hand side, and you'll find a hooker containing two pigs, I believe, a router. Once you go inside, pick up the blue key card, and in this room, you will find that there's a secret. So press on the drawers here to open the drawers to your right. Number three. So once you have done some platforming, eventually you'll be at the very last location. So make sure you've got the red key as well. So this is at the very end, you'll go up some stairs and the picture frame will have a secret as well. Movie sets, only four secrets for this one. As soon as we start, do a 180, jump through the office window and press the computer to your right. This is a speed run bit. So you have to get to this location before it closes. So secret number two. Since we've got the blue key card now, go around the corner here. This is where the helicopter came down and crashed. Jump up and go inside the poster. There we go, secret number two. Number three now. Drop down and now with the key card that we used already, go inside. Go into the movie set to find a yellow key card and a jetpack. Now go into the door or go into the yellow room or the yellow key card door. Once we go in, we'll fight two of these bad guys and then jump into the wall to find number three. Number four, here we go. And also the red key cards in this room as well. Just an FYI. So number four is located on top of this box. For some stupid reason, you have to jump on top of this boxes and then the door should open. But it also closed pretty damn quick. For now, for some reason, you can interact with the boxes down below to open the top. So I don't really get this one, why it does this, but good thing we have a jetpack. So now we're going to find the secret level. So go back into the main uh, movie set with the spaceship area. Now press on the USA sign. This will reveal your secret level. Now once we start the um, the secret level, press the switch. These are very easy. So from left, we want to go through this door and then repeat this process three more times around each corner to find all your secrets. Now from the starting location of the next level. Once you get into the train station, if you go to the left near the platform of the train, you will find that there's a little picture. Well, kind of big. But if you press that, this will reveal secret number one. 
and some damn enemies that come after us. Now, once again, from the last location, go right, jump on one of these magazine um, trays and reveal your secret number two. Number three. This one's not too bad. You just have to do it quite quick or else you die. So once the train leaves, uh, directly follow it behind you and shoot the wall to your right and making sure the explosions stop before jumping in there. Once you have found the blue card and used it, this will be the next area. So jump on the um, the blue bin and then just pull that cover down to find secret number five. So from the last location, do a sharp left and go into the next secret room. And if you interact with that switch I tried before, um, you have to do it in a specific spot for some reason. Uh, this will give you some devastator ammo and a gun, I believe. So number six, once we find the red key card, go down to the right or left, shoot the wall. Now, once we jump into the crevice of the wall, I'm going to turn around and jump on top of the bookshelf. Once you get about halfway, the secret door or location will be revealed to you. Now jump in to grab it. Next level, once we have found the blue keycard, before going straight, head right and enter this light storage area. Now jump on the boxes, because we need to go through the window now. So once we jumped in, there will be a secret place directly into this wall. Be careful, you will get attacked by a turret. Now once you have done this in the area, you need to shoot the, um, the bottles off this um, invisible shelf that we can jump through. Now, of course, it does show you on the map, so a lot of things show you on the map where the secrets are, so they're not really that difficult to find. Apart from some of them, it's pretty damn hard. So this one don't need to show you much. Once you get to the red key card, you'll gain the secret place. Kind of, kind of a pointless being a secret if you have to go here anyway. Now, number four, in the same location, go through the red curtain, and that will be number four. Now, once eventually, it will take quite some time, once you get the yellow key card, and now enter the door. Once you arrived in this next place, you want to go left and go inside. Interact with the wine cellar or the wine holders, we call it shelf. That would be number one. From the same place, press the um, the next wall to your left to find the secret. In here, you'll find some scuba gear as well. Now with the newly equipped scuba gear, we're now going to find some Indiana Jones. So once we see this uh, two burning pots, uh, jump into the waterfall to get teleported to a secret place. So press the handle, or press the hand, I should say, not the handle, and go into this secret place. Once you reach the exit or the end, you'll see um, Indy. And now for the secret location, or the secret level. This is up to you if you want to grab the atomic health. Uh, you have to get your ass out of there quickly before else you die. Now use your rocket launcher or any explosive to clear the way. And ta-da, there's our secret. Before we actually start, uh, I'd like to give you a word of, not a word of warning, but um, you don't have to do this first secret as I'm doing. There is another way you can do it uh, because there'll be another secret that comes with it as well. So it's up to you if you want to do this secret, but I advise not to do it at this point. As you'll find out very shortly. So jump back down into the highway area and go right and follow the next ramp up. Now go left and be careful you get attacked by a lot of enemies and explosions do happen. Once you're in this next part of the highway, there'll be loads of enemies as well. Near the blue door, uh, you can interact with a window. This will reveal your secret. 
there's a monster on top of the stairs and now use your rock launcher to reveal the path to secret number one that we already found so ta-da so now the next secret will be located near enough right next to a blue key card so once you go up this falling down building wherever this thing is jump in the window and right next to where you found the blue key card while well, you're going to find there will be a wall that we can press a bookshelf that raises up to find secret number three Number four. Blow up the wall. Go inside. Be careful of the little eggs. It can be a little finicky to get inside, but that will be secret number four. Now, once you made it over to this other area, by using the blue key card, of course, you will get to this very last dark section. And to the left will be a visible wall that you can jump through. You probably hear an enemy behind the wall, but um, that gives you a good idea wherever he is. And it's right next to a red key card as well. And we'll find a reference to Terminator.